Hello. This unforgettable tune by Stevie Winwood was covered by many, including by himself and Eric Clapton on various stages for five decades now. My favorite version remains the original Blind Faith one, recorded in 1969. Of course, a studio version that... It is a studio version that no one would think of playing again note for note on the stage today. But just for the pleasure, I tapped it and tried to play. Now we will see the details slowly. Of course you can download the free tab of my, on my web page under different formats and if some are interested I can join any combination of useful backing tracks. I personally used a MIDI drum simulation from Guitar Pro 8 as a metronome, which is essential to get the right rhythm. So in the 1969 original version there were two acoustic guitars and a bass. The first guitar we can call the rhythm guitar, it is tuned in drop D. It mainly follows the well-known bass line and is played strumming with a pick, in my opinion. Now, the second guitar, this is the second guitar, I call the solo guitar. It is, it remains in, in standard tuning. I prefer to play it with the fingers, with the flesh of your fingers as Rai could have emphasized to reproduce the mellow feel of the original tune. 
Now the real and only difficulty is to keep synchronized, in other words, to stick to the rhythm. Let us listen to the drum sequence first. Bongos and congas. Then the same with the bass. Also tuned in drop D. Now the tune is divided into eight parts. An intro, a first first chorus and bridge, a second first chorus and bridge, and a lengthy outro. Let us start with a solo guitar first, the one standard tuning. It is the first one we hear in the intro and with a picking pattern. There are two pure picking parts in this tune, in the tune with this guitar, the intro and the full second chorus. In the intro, the rhythm, the rhythm guitar progressively fades in behind the soul guitar. Now the intro plays like this. At least I hear it like this. This is the first bar. Second bar, the second bar starts here. Because the Indian intro, the solo guitar, also reads the bass line. C Pinch the D and the C, the low C, start like that. And then it's a hammer on on the third string. D, a low D and, and two high Ds. Going back to low D. This is second part here. Next. With the flat B here as a low, low note. C. It 
Gigi. And it's, it's a very simple solo. Now, uh, the part of the solo guitar is, is limited during the verses and, uh, and the, the, cor the chorus of the bridge. It, it plays mainly during the bridges and during all on the second chorus, which is played in picking. Picking. So, if you follow the two verses, are, are alike. The two verses are alike, you see, why the rhythm guitar plays. When it turns to F, the solo guitar say, plays. First bridge after the first chorus, of course. Here again, it's a simple solo, very easy to follow. was the first bridge and then the, the slow guitar fully takes over at the second chorus which begins like this it was a G an A7 an A7 suspended four and then a hammering Double stops, you play the two strings, the two higher strings together. And 
then it's a, an E minor 7, a special one. And it, and it adds an, an A here, an A here. After the after the, the E minor seven, it returns to a G. Sorry. It is F sharp minor. And then chain with the last, uh, the second bridge. And again, a simple solo, very simple solo. Yeah, there are two notes together. Part of the solo guitar ends there. The rhythm guitar takes over, and we'll see now the, the rhythm guitar. Now, the rhythm guitar, it is tuned in drop D, as we said. That is the, the lowest. E string, the sixth string, is still one tone down to give a D. It, it gives a very wide D chord. To play the general pattern, you put your pinky Start with second finger on the D string playing an A and then the bass line C C bass line we've seen before. First, at the turn, turn around at the edge of each sentence.
before, just before the second verse. These are in the intro where at first he plays. And instead of going to G, Instead of going to G, remember the double F in the solo guitar. It plays another solo here. The outro is also particular. Things are hectic and uh, he can't find his way home and the rhythm is speeded up. Bye.